Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be talking about making rhythms using functions. So let's go to a new preset. Let's go to engine one and make this one an analog. So we should just have a sine wave or a saw wave. Okay, so let's change our filter over here to the MS20. Let's crank some resonance right over here. And then let's go to our functions tab. So for our first function here, we just have this downward saw. So down here on the draw mode, we can go over to these triangles on the on the right hand side right over here. And let's just draw in a lot of triangles just like that and then switch back to our original mode over here. So for our rate, maybe let's go to 2 over 1, something like that. And let's drag this function over to this cutoff and bring this down just a little bit to see how it's already moving like that. And let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so let's get a drum groove behind that. Okay, so we have the basic type of rhythm here. So now this is really where we want to customize this here. So... For this example, let's go on this first one and grab this tension handle, kind of bring this one up. Let's skip three and let's bring up this next one over here. Let's skip another three and let's bring this next one up here and then skip another three and let's bring this one up over here. So let's see how that sounds. So as you can see with this tension here, it kind of almost accents these notes a little bit. So now if we did something with the other ones, like let's bring these kind of down here, bring this two down here, and maybe on these next three, let's bring this one maybe down a little bit here, skip this one, and bring this one down here like that, and then kind of just do some interesting little stuff like that, maybe increase this tension here, and kind of just mess with these curves here, because these curves are really gonna change a lot how the, um, how, the how the rhythm sounds. So let's see what we have now. Okay, cool. So we can further add on to this. So for example, what we can do, let's get some unison in here, make it a little bit more uh, beefy. So let's go over to our utility engine and let's turn this first noise on and maybe scroll over to maybe, let's see how this one, let's go to heater, see how that one sounds here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this function and go all the way on this volume knob, let's turn this all the way down, and this is gonna determine how much of this uh, rhythm we have. So with this being said, let's turn this to filter number two because we don't want to interfere with this here. <laughs> So now we just have this. And then combined with the sound we have. So we can further add on to this. For example, let's turn on this analog noise over here, maybe turn a little bit of the high pass over here, send this also to filter number two. Now let's go to function number two. And maybe for this one, let's do something a little bit more simplistic, something kind of like maybe every four ones like this here. And let's see what we're gonna have here soon. Bring this one down, add another one. So basically we have kind of similar to what we had on function number one over here, but this is much more simplistic. Maybe you bring this one up a little bit and maybe bring this second one down, kind of just change them just a little bit. So we have just some differences of these curves here, something like that. So they're not exactly all the same. Now for this one, we can drag and drop the same thing on the second noise oscillator. So that by itself would sound something like this. combined with the first one. And maybe we can add some more rhythm stuff in here as well. Maybe add another point here and then drag this guy up like that. And let's add in our original sound. So we already have kind of a shuffle kind of thing going on already. And another thing you can also add on to this is over here on our envelopes here, the sustain over here, basically we can do the same type of thing, but with the sustain up. So let's take function number two and see how this sounds like on the sustain here. So that's with no modulation. We almost get that volume rhythmic kind of feeling going on this here as well.
So that's kind of the basic things here and then kind of almost think what you can add to this to make it a little bit more interesting. So for example, we can even do something like this on the detune. <laughs> Add another oscillator in, drop this down an octave, make it a little bit more beefy. So we have a pretty simple groove going, and at this point we're only just using two functions and really a little modulation for the envelope VCA. So now at this point we can kind of come over here into our effects section and we can start adding some interesting effects here. Maybe some delay here. Be careful with the delay though, because it's easy if you play just a little bit at a time, then it can kind of throw the whole thing off, but a little bit can go a long way. Maybe some reverb in here as well. And what we can also do is in this utility engine, we can turn the sub oscillator on and then maybe send this one directly out or something kind of like that. And then maybe what we can do is maybe have almost a, uh, Kind of a pulse something like this let's have another dot here let's bring this one kind of up like that so we have two downward saws here on the third function drag this over to the output and increase that so we're kind of just having some slow rhythmic kind of hits to this so some kind of like this here let's turn this back on and let's turn these off or maybe even triangle for a little bit more uh harmonics if you'd like to or a square really depends on what you want to do and then turning these other ones on and then the base the best way to mix these things because if maybe you want uh, the this first one here a little bit quieter or something like that always reach for this knob here and then grab this green little pie and kind of just move where you want this limit here to end up at Maybe we can go in here and then find some interesting type of sample, for example, maybe a vocal. Or maybe something drums and percussion. Let's turn this volume down and maybe use this third function to kind of emphasize that sub there. Now this will only happen on the first hit, but hopefully you can kind of get the idea of something like this that we can work through. We can spend a lot of time doing stuff like this. So let's turn this one off for now and kind of look at some more of the effect stuff that we can add to this. A great one that I always kind of like to do is let's move some of these down here for now. And let's go to this none here and let's select the, uh, where are you? The, oh my goodness, where are you? Stereo pan, this is the one. And we can always sync this to our tempo as we have our other functions synced down over here. So with this way we can get a little bit more motion. We can always modulate this knob with yet another one of these functions, so maybe function number two, so it's kind of moving like that all in sync. Something that might be nice too is hitting this with a multi band. So let's go over here and let's grab a multi band right over here.
And at this point, I would maybe go to a macro number one, drag this off to the cutoff, rename this here cutoff over here, something like that. And then maybe also do this one for the resonance, just call it res and drag and drop this one on the resonance and then bring it kind of high, something like this over here. So when this is full range over here, we have a pretty good resonance peak. And then something like this, if you just want to kind of sneak in some kind of volume like this, we can grab macro number three and drag and drop on the volume engine, turn this all the way down, maybe turn this something healthier route right about here. So we can call it like EG1 vol, or maybe some better name that you'd like. And we can kind of sneak this one in as we please. We could do something like that, or even this is kind of cool for rhythmic kind of stuff. Let's remove this and let's go back to macro number three. And then what we can do is we can go to this functions tab and all these three functions, what we can do is we can modulate this knob with a macro. So macro number three, number three, we can drag, drag and drop over here, increase something like that, and then go something like this. So all the way to the left is kind of the original sound we had. go to function number two and then do the same thing drag and drop on this rate range here or this rate here so it kind of gets out of control right over here but hopefully you get the idea where you can change the rate with one macro for all of them or a couple of them depending on how you'd like to set it up And that's pretty much the concept using these functions as a rhythmic type of thing. And a very cool part here as well, you can click this presets over here and you can save these different shapes. If you come up with something really cool, you can always reuse them for later types of patches. And keep in mind, there's a lot of stuff to modulate with, within all these different engines, within the different effects parameters right over here. So kind of really let the uh, creativity out and see what you can modulate as well. And if you kind of run out of functions, which you can kind of cheat and kind of do, is you can maybe go to a combinate or something like that, add in a function, like that and then maybe add in maybe something else like function number three right for these two and let's drag and drop this on something interesting so let's let's just say for example this comb one on this volume right here for example you can select this comb one and then go to crossfade and maybe something like that you can kind of mix them or the two to get some more of the rhythmic things kind of adding them and so on and so forth so there's a lot of different ways to get some rhythmic stuff not to mention you have three different randoms that you can also tie to rhythmic type of things so So this is kind of a side of pigments that you really want to explore using the functions, the combinates, the randoms, and you can really come up as a really cool percussion rhythmic types of thing. So hopefully you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.